Hi, and welcome back. I'm Ganesh from LearnEnglishLab.com, and today we're going to talk about how to use should have, could have, and would have correctly. All right. Now, all uh, three of these words are basically should have, could have, and would have. So all of them have uh, the verb have over here. But I've written it like this because when we speak, we usually shorten that to uh, should have, could have, and would have. But just remember that they have have in them. All right now, these are all used to express regret about uh, past decisions or actions. So what does uh, regret mean? Regret means that we're unhappy about a decision or an action in the past. And that is the function of these words. And all three of these are grammar words. Okay. Uh, to understand these better, I have a decision or an action over on uh, this side, and I have a result over on this side. This is a situation that we're going to use to understand these words. Have a look at the decision or action. I didn't study enough, and the result was I failed my exam. Now, a student might say this, and I've heard a lot of students say this. Um, now, his teacher might tell him, hey, you should have studied more. What does she mean by that? Well, she's trying to say that she's not happy about his decision. His decision was that he didn't study enough. And by saying this, his teacher is saying the opposite of what happened. So what happened? He didn't study. So she's saying you should have studied more. Okay, so what this does is it shows that you're unhappy about the decision. This can be you or this can be I. Uh, he might say, the student might say, I should have studied more. Or two people talking about him, maybe his teacher and another teacher talking about him, his teacher might say, Shane should have studied more. He didn't study and he failed. All right, so this can be any subject. Now, could have is just like should have, but could have is a little softer. Okay, have a look at this example. He could have studied more, but he didn't. Now, maybe this is his teacher, uh, saying this to another teacher. And here, could have focuses on the possibility, and that's very important. Uh, this sentence says that it was possible for him to study. He had the time, he had the material, he had the books, he had everything. It was possible, but he didn't do it. And often, could have is followed by this, but he didn't. But it can be used in another way. You can also use could have directly to someone if you want to say that you're not happy about their decision. So you can say, you could have studied more. What that does is that's a little softer than should have. Compare the two. If I tell you, hey, you should have studied more, that's a little strong. If I'm your teacher, I'm your parent, that's okay. But if I'm, I'm your friend, you might be a little offended. It might be a little rude. So in that case, you can use could have. You can say, you could have studied more. See, it's a little softer. So if you're saying it to someone's face, you can leave out the but. No but. You could have studied more. But if you're talking about someone else, then this is very common. He could have studied more, but he didn't. All right. Now, would have is a little interesting because it's just like should have and could have because it is used to express regret. But there's one big difference. And the difference is if you look at both should have and could have, they refer only to the decision or the action. They're not talking about the result. But would have talks both about the decision or the action and the result. So if you want to talk about both of those, you use would have. So have a look at this sentence. 
If Shane had studied more, he would have passed the exam. So you can see that the decision or the action is over here. If Shane had studied more, the reality is he didn't study. So this is the opposite of this. And then he would have passed the exam. This is the opposite of this over here. He failed the exam, but if Shane had studied more, he would have passed the exam. Notice this uh, had over here. That's very important because uh, that's what really shows that we're talking about the past. So don't leave that out. Okay, remember that. And then of course you have he would have passed the exam. Now we're going to move on and look at one more example, one more situation. But before we do that, uh, I want you to notice the form over here. Uh, after should have could have and would have, you have studied, studied over here and passed over here. All of these are the past participle form of the verb. Okay, so this is the Remember that uh, every verb has three forms, present, past, and past participle, like uh, go, went, gone, do, did, done, all right? So this is that third form all the time. That's what's really easy about this because after should have, you simply put past participle. Could have, same thing. With would have, both here after had, and after would have, you put past participle form. All right, really easy. All right, let's now move on and look at the next example. And this time, we're going to work on the example together and make these sentences. All right, here we have the next situation. Have a look. Misha yelled at her workers. That was the action. And the result was her workers quit. So basically, Misha is the boss at her company. And she kept yelling, based, that means shouting and screaming at her workers. And her workers said, you know what? We don't want this. We quit. And they left the company. All right. So let's now make the sentences together for should have, could have, and would have. All right. So should have first. How would you write the sentence? Now, notice that here, the action is Misha yelled at her workers. To write the opposite, uh, you cannot use should have. You have to use should not have or shouldn't have. So, can you make a sentence with shouldn't have? All right, let's look at the answer. All right, here's the answer. Misha shouldn't have yelled at her workers. Did you get that? Right, let's now move on and talk about could have. And this time we're going to use she. Can you think of how you would use could have here? Now, one word of caution. You can use should have and shouldn't have to express regret. But you cannot use couldn't have. You can only use could have. That means that over here, you cannot say she couldn't have yelled because that doesn't make sense because could have talks about possibility so no couldn't have so without couldn't have what sentence could you make here well here because we're talking about Misha yelled think about it this way Misha was rude to her workers that means Misha was not polite to the workers does that give you a clue what can you say with could have over here? Let's look at the answer. All right, here it is. She could have been more polite to her workers. What this sentence says is she had the opportunity. It was possible to be more polite to her workers, but she was not polite. She was yelling and screaming and they all quit. All right, let's now finally look at would have. Uh, here, we're starting with if you. That means someone else is saying this directly to Misha. So what could they say? 
Think about this sentence for a moment. Think about how you would say it, and I'll show you the answer. All right, let's uh, look at the answer now. All right, here it is. If you hadn't yelled at your workers, they wouldn't have quit. Did you get that? Now you can also write, if you had been more polite to your workers, they wouldn't have quit. That is also correct. In the same way here as well, you can say, Misha should have been more polite. Of course, that's changing the sentence a little bit, but that's also correct, remember. Now, before we finish, I want to end with a quick note on how to pronounce these words. Now, with all of these, should have, could have, and would have, when we speak, we don't say have, okay? Uh, we say, and when we say it, it sounds like sounds like we're saying should have. This is sh, so should of, should of, or oops, could have, or. would have. In all of these, should have, could have, and would have. So when you say uh, this, for example, she could have been more polite. Say it with me. She could have been more polite. Could have been. Could have been. She should have been more polite. Should have been. All right. And when you say shouldn't have, shouldn't have. This becomes have. shouldn't have. Sometimes when we say it fast, we even say shouldn't have. We leave the T out. Shouldn't have. All right. So should have, could have, would have. Practice saying that. And I hope you found this lesson useful. I'll see you in another lesson.